Hi folks, Tim here from High and Cheap Tech. Uh, I got a cold today. Been coughing a lot, so you're going to see a lot of edits in this video. Uh, if I break out into another fit of coughing. Um, today we're going to talk about 5G and all the hype on the new phones. Oh, it has a 5G processor. And why that is completely worthless to you right now in today's world. Let's get to the intro. All right, folks, I'm back. Um, so, 5G. Yeah. Uh, right now, better than two thirds of the world is still on 3G. Uh, there are parts of the United States that are still on 3G. Lots of them. So if you live in a small town, if you live in a rural area, um, don't buy a phone just because it has a 5G modem inside. That's all a bunch of marketing bullshit. Simple as that. Uh, it's uh, strictly... There to sell you a phone. Uh, very few people this year or even in the next five years are going to have access to 5G. And it has some serious limitations. One of which is um, extremely short range. Um, and it doesn't go through buildings well. Uh, what you have to do is kind of think of this like your Wi-Fi at home. Now don't confuse the two. But you have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is wireless AC, and then you have 2.4, which is up to wireless N. Uh, in most cases, you can walk around your house if you have a two-story or three-story house, and the 2.4 gig is going to work everywhere. And you can go outside and it'll still work. Your wireless AC, which is 5 gigahertz, roughly twice the frequency, once again, this has nothing to do with 5G wireless, but it's the same concept. Twice the frequency, half the range. Doesn't go through walls well. Signal gets attenuated, cut back, filtered, cut down. So, now let's get on to 5G itself, wireless. Fantastic idea. It's super fast. It can, you know. The same equipment that used to handle 10,000 users will be able to handle a million. Great! Except for one thing. The only place you're going to see it in the next five years is in downtown areas where they can put it up on every damn street corner on every street sign and light pole. It, it doesn't go through buildings for crap. So it'll be great if you're walking down the city street. So if you like to go outside and watch your videos really fast, when it's 10 below zero or 100 degrees up, 5G got you covered. If not, you're buying a phone for all the wrong reasons. You might get a chance to use 5G if you go to one of these large cities. Uh, but, folks, don't get all excited. Yeah. I've seen videos now on the, the OnePlus is going to be huge because it's got 5G. Bullshit. Uh, you're just not going to see it anywhere where it's really useful. And it may never be useful because of its range and limitations. Uh, it's a lot better off to be used in like for farming or something like that where they can put an antenna up in a rural area where there's two or three farms and they can use 5G to control like 10 different tractors all at once and get them the GPS and the uh, instructions they need to do what they need to do. It might be okay uh, in an open factory that's wide open and you put some antennas in there and you can control all the machines, low latency, super high speed, enormous amounts of data transfer. As far as cell phones go, check back with me in about 10 years. Other than that, don't get excited about it. It's all bullshit hype to sell you a phone 
I mean, you know anyone who's bought one of the Samsungs who's getting 5G? I'm willing to bet zero would be that number. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they had it at like CES and you know, the and MWC this year. But I guarantee wherever they had the display where they were showing the 5G and how quick it was, whoa, I'm sure it was fast. Now go upstairs and try to connect up to it. Oh, you can't. It doesn't go through the floor with a steel floor in a big convention center because we didn't ha have time to put antennas up there too and run cables. We're talking tons of antennas everywhere. Get over it. It's not coming to your neighborhood soon. If you live in a town with less than a couple million people, you'll never see it. And even if you live in a town with a couple million people, you're probably only going to see it downtown. It, it's just ultra short range. It's just not going to do it for you yet. Give it 10 years. I mean, we haven't even hit the real speeds of 4G yet. So, you got to think to yourself, huh, what's up with that? And it's been 10 years since 4G came out. Hence the LTE, long-term evolution. So if you found this in the least bit interesting or helpful, or it ruined your day uh, on being excited about getting a Huawei or a Samsung or anything with Qualcomm or a Kirin chip with 5G capability, uh, unless you happen to be that 1% of the population who's going to be able to use it, that should not be the reason you're buying a new phone. I'm hoping Apple just blows it off this year and says, it's not even necessary for another five years. Uh, that would be good. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Click on the... Uh, I put a few uh, links in with some 5G uh, videos. And also... Uh, and click on that subscribe deal coming up here and make sure you click on the bell ding and give us a thumbs up yeah yada 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 we'll see you in the next one